Hey everybody and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the artist known as Andrew speaking and it's time for another scam call. Now that the Medicare open enrollment is over, all the other scammers are coming out of the woodwork. Final expense scammers, credit card scammers, all the other ones. And it's great. It's fantastic. And today is a credit card scammer. You know I love them. They're one of my all-time favorites. But remember, if you ever get calls like this, either hang up on them or screw with them like I do. Enjoy. Existing credit card, Capital One Bank, offering 0% interest rate on your existing credit card to check your eligibility, press 1 now. And if you don't respond, Capital One Bank will cancel this promotion, so... Uh, Hello there, thank you for holding the line. This is John Parker, how are you doing today? Oh, very good, thank you. Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. I believe that you must have heard the recorded message for this call regarding the lower interest rate on your account. Am I right, sir? Oh, yes, sir, absolutely. Right, so, so you see this is call is in regard to drop down the interest rate on your existing credit card account. Okay. From Visa, or Master, or Toto, or American Express. I want you to know that we have been instructed by the credit bureau experience to inform you that we have been monitoring your credit card account profile for the past several months and can see that you have been making your payments on time and in fact it has been more than a few times that you have even tried to pay more than the minimum monthly payment. Is it correct, sir? Oh, yes, absolutely. I, I try to pay a little bit more every month if I can. Right, sir. So you see, because of that reason, on the behalf of a good payment history and a good credibility, today your credit card account profile has been approved for the eligibility of the lower interest rate program. Okay. And for the help of these lower rates from the lower interest rate program, which will be below 4% and way close to 0%. I mean, clearly our specialized financial advisors and specialists will try their very best to get them as low as possible okay but it also depends on the factor that how much credit card balance overall on your credit card profile you hold okay okay so as i was saying with the help of these lawyers from the lower interest rate program you'll be able to, you'll be able to pay off your balances three to five times faster and quicker without losing a, a lot of money in terms of your interest and finance charges and the most part of your monthly payments will go down as principal and hence your balances will come down the way they should. Okay. Okay, sounds good to you, sir? Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. All right, sir. So now for the qualification purposes for the lower interest rate program, I want you to confirm me, like, how much would you say you owe on your overall credit card debt? Collectively, on all your credit card accounts combined, balances combined, and um, I don't want you to give me a precise or exact number. Just give me a rough and ballpark figure. That'll do, sir. Well, I know the one that we use the most is our Capital One, and that's around 7000 just by itself. That's probably the one with the biggest balance. Right, sir, but... It's as of only one credit card account, right, sir? Well, we do have others, but I have like I have like a Discover card, which I don't think it has any balance on it or a minimal balance because we use that pretty much for emergencies only. Uh, but the Capital right, One's the one we use all the time. I mean, I used it just this morning to put gas in the car, so. I got you, sir. But I want you to provide me like a, a ballpark figure. I I honestly don't. You owe. I I honestly don't know. To be honest with you, I I don't keep that I, I close you, of a track of that. A good guess, sir. A good guess will do. I don't know. Twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. I have no idea. I'd have to look at all the bills in order to tell you for sure. No, sir. It's okay, sir. You don't have to. So, okay, good, because I don't know what it is, honestly. A good guess will be around 10000 Sure, absolutely. Okay, I got you, sir. So, and like you've told me as well, that the account on which you hold the most major balance on is your capital on card, right? Yes, that's correct. Right, and just confirm me if your Capital One card is issued from Visa or MasterCard. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Let me grab it and I can tell you for sure. Hold on. Okay. All right, let me see here. Um, It is a MasterCard. All right, uh, do you have the card on you? Uh, yes, I'm looking right at it. Who's this? Uh, sure. When does the card get expired? Wh who am I talking to now? This is a different person. Oh, well, your voice changed, so, okay. Yes, when does your card get expired? Uh, let's see, June of 26, so 626. All right, the card number? The whole thing or just the last four? No, the last, the four, the full 16-digit card number, sir. 
Oh, the whole thing. Okay. It's 5178 0562 3184 2126. Thank you so much. Yes, and sir. I want to confirm. Are you the primary and authorized banner on this credit card? Uh, yes, I'm. I'm the only one on this account. All right, just to purchase the primary authorized banner, right? Find me the last four digits of your social. Only the last four. Six one two three. Six one two six. Two three. Three is the last number. Two three. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And your five digit billing zip code, sir. Three two. Uh, three two two zero two. Thank you. And lastly, your date of birth, sir? March 1st, 1960. 1966? No, no. 60. 6 zero. Oh, may God bless you with a more life, sir. Oh, thank now, you. Now, bear with me. Let me pull out a seat. Miss, can you hold on? Sure, sure. Just bear with me. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. I swear that was a different sounding guy. I'll have to listen again to make sure, but... Yeah, I know they're screwing with me, but that's okay. We like screwing with them. The card number, sir, which you're providing me, sir, that's an invalid, sir. The information which you're providing me, that's an invalid, sir. I I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm reading the number right off the card. What part's invalid? The card is not matching with my record, sir. The capital one. Okay. Are you sure you're looking at my records and not somebody else's? Uh, no, I'm looking to your record, sir. But oh, okay. The card is not matching with my record. Okay, well, what name is on the records? I mean, what name do you have for me? Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. I cannot give out from my side as you're providing <laughs> the wrong information, sir. Does this ever work? I mean, do people really give you valid credit card numbers? I mean, really. Does anybody believe you when you call them? Oh, come on. Don't give up already, you chicken. Come on. <sighs> what a loser. Didn't even ask for a different credit card number. I think most scammers will ask for a second credit card number. You couldn't even do that, could you? That's all right. I'm sure you'll call back, and I'll screw with you again. Yay! Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.